Hi, in this tutorial video, I will show you how to work with threaded connections in Revit. I will use Wabin's hot and cold system, Tigris, as an example. Let's start with the junction. First, I select the pipe. I choose the Tigris pipe and draw a T. Now let's say that I want this pipe to be ended with a thread. I select it and change its type into a sample threaded pipe. In this case, the nominal diameter is the same as the outside diameter of the Tigris range. Let's change its diameter into an inch value. In this particular project, the inch value is shown as 19.1 millimeters, which equals to three quarters of an inch. Let's use it. This time we get a red exclamation mark. In both situations, we need to select the fitting and under the properties tab, change its type to a threaded one. Let's try inserting the transitions when drawing a straight line for the pipes. I'm starting with a Tigris pipe. Drawing the pipe. And now, without clicking anywhere yet, I'll change the pipe that I draw into sample threaded pipe. I choose the inch value. Just as in the previous situation, the red exclamation mark appears. It has to be selected and then the type of fitting has to be changed into threaded transition. Now I will show you what can happen when drawing the same situation in reverse order. This time I start with the sample threaded pipe. I continue to draw the Tigris pipe. In this case, the fitting inserted does not come from the Tigris package. In order to insert a Tigris transition fitting, we need to take the same action as in the previous steps. Fitting has to be selected and its type changed into the desired threaded fitting. In some cases, both pipes may have the same diameter, so let's see what happens in such situations. While I draw the situation in the same way, I'm setting both pipes' its diameter to 20 millimeters. In such situations, Revit is going to insert a union type fitting. We need to change it as we did earlier by selecting the fitting and changing it to the correct one. Depending on the pipe with which we started to draw, we might see that the fitting is not inserted properly. 
In such cases, we need to select the fitting and use the reverse direction checkbox to fix its orientation. If you don't notice and fix such issues for some reason, don't worry because the working lengths stay the same. When we are working with fixtures, Wavin threaded fittings work in the same way. The fixture has half of an inch connectors, which are shown as 12.7 millimeters. Let's start to draw a Tigris pipe out of one of its connectors. We see the red exclamation mark again, which we need to click and change the fitting into a threaded one. There is also the possibility to create an elbow thread adapter. I will now start a Tigris pipe out of this fixture's thread. Instead of drawing straight from it, I will change the offset. This will force the Tigris pipe to go straight up from the fixture's thread. The red exclamation mark tells us that we are now able to change the inserted fitting to a thread adapter. In some cases, an unnecessary piece of pipe might be inserted in between. Select it and then delete it. Now, in order to join the fixture with the adapter, it's best to go to the floor plan. By selecting the fitting, we can now click and hold the square that represents the connector and then drag the fitting into the fixture's thread. That's it. Thank you for watching.